This is incredible, man. Look at that. And this is where it was first sold, um, the catalog where they first sold it. So Nick's movie is the only movie he ever made that did not come with a soundtrack because they were on a budget. Okay. I think it was a hundred thousand dollar budget, but I, I could be mistaken. It's what coming to my my brain. Got the script, and that's pretty much it for that movie. Now then his last movie, Change of Habit. Mm -hmm. So you got some advertising, promotional stuff. You got the soundtrack. No script. I kicked myself. I passed up buying the script, autographed script by the entire cast, including Ooh. Elvis, for four grand. I could have kicked myself. You must myself. not have been having a good day then. I was just like, I just need a script. I don't need it signed. Um, you got, but we got the acetates, two acetates. Got That's change, the song Change a Habit. This other one is Rubbernecking, which is Rubber. a really good song. Yeah, that's Rubbernecking, guys. Like <clears throat> so... Um, I don't know how this piece ended up here. It should probably go with the merchandise, but this is a mold for an award that they stamped out and sold. Um, in Vegas. Yeah, 1972, sold it at the Hilton. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Not only do I have the actual stamp, but I got the mold. Yeah, look at that. So that's the movie career, right? Right. Now that means so his, he returns to Vegas. He returns to Vegas. For the comeback. Yeah. So, and here's uh -oh. the first jumpsuit he wore. What is right here to my right? I can't move my hand over. All right, I'm going to do it. Check that out. That is from the first in 1970. Yeah, that suit was actually made in 69. That's on the cover of That's the Way It Is? Wait yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. That is that in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> There's two. Bill Blue made two of these, and I got a letter from Bill talking about it. So he made two of them for Elvis. So this is the first jumpsuit. Um, and you can tell the difference when you watch the film um, between this jumpsuit and the other one that Graceland has. It's just like it. The collar on the left side, the left side collar on the one that Graceland ha has tends to lay down a little bit more. So if you look at the album, look at the album, I believe that's the one Graceland has. But if you watch the documentary, it, you know, they cut from, from one evening to another, mm -hmm. scene to scene, and you'll see him wearing the same jumpsuit, but it's not the same jumpsuit. Right. One, of them, one of them, the collar is up like this, and the other one, the collar is, is a little down. It's down. Yeah. This is incredible, man. Look at that. And this is where it was first sold, um, the catalog where they first sold it, um, the Sotheby's way back when. So I know you've done it, Glenn. I'm going to ask you. You've put it on, right? I can't. I tried. Yeah, I know you tried. It I probably fits me perfect. I can't, I can't fit in it. I can't fit. It's too small. I think I'm about Elvis's size and height back then. You, you, you might be able to fit in I would probably be able to fit, man. That it, Look at the buckles, man. The, he was small, man. He, he was, was in small waist. I'm a, I'm a 32 waist, so I believe. I don't know if you could fit in it. I don't know. You don't think so? It might be. It, well, we'll test it out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on the episode at the very end. Thank you for watching this episode. Now I've got Elvis's jumpsuit. I would probably have to, you probably have special cleansing skin cream or something. I don't. But you notice I don't, you know, talking about keeping these things all clean and there's no vents yeah. inside these cases. And you have a um, filtration system for circulation at the bottom and the top. Oh. And, and there's carbon filters at the bottom and top. So it keeps all the dust out. Yeah, That's why you look in here. I mean, there, nobody's ever dusted in here in years. I don't see any dust. There's, there's no, that. No, there's no dust. Yeah, it's incredible to see it real up close and zoom in. And because how it, how it, it looks different on film. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Wow. 
Incredible. So you got the posters for the documentaries here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course Elvis on tour is two different posters. Right. You got the soundtrack. Sounds a bootleg soundtrack right there. You got some advertisements. You know, you got the script for This Is Elvis. Tour jacket. Mm -hmm. Now there's another Georgia. autograph. You autograph that yeah. if I can dream. Thirty-five. 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 I'll trust your count. All right. Uh, guitar pick. You got one of his um, belts. I don't think it's the belt he's wearing in the picture, but close. So that's one of his belts, guys. Look at that. And there's one of his, uh, his pair of his shoes from 1954. Check these bad boys out. <laughs> you can tell how old Yeah, I think you are. need to wear them to the Tiger Man next time. Hey, there you go. I think it fits in. <laughs> the leopard, the kind of the cheetah. Close enough. That's a cool piece, the standy. Oh, yeah. Little counter standing. Uh oh. Um, we got a contract here. This contract, I forgot all about this. What is this involving? Um, Dear Mr. Presley, you have requested up to lend you a Elvis on tour. Print. Oh. Yeah. Do you have the. You don't have that. Okay, thing. see, this is the same thing for Love as Love Me Tender. He had to sign a release saying he's not going to share it with share anybody. It. So now the print is. Over here. So you do have the print. There they are, guys. Well, no, that's not the that, print. That's oh. not the one he took, but that is a print. That is a print. Yeah. Check out the jumpsuit one more time. Mm. EP for that. It's amazing. So over here, we got a pair of boots Parker, Parker gave away on uh, some kind of um, uh, fan club, something or the other. So did he wear Elvis wear these? Maybe. That's what he said. Who knows? <laughs> you can believe part. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a belt, a mirror belt. Now I can't find any pictures of Elvis wearing it. There is a picture over there to the right of Elvis wearing a mirror belt, but not that one. But what I do know is Elvis gave that belt to Jerry Reed's wife. And she had it modified to fit her little waist. Um, so beneath that, those are the acetates, number one through three, of the 68 Comeback Special. No way. Yep. Pretty cool stuff. Huh. That is very cool. <clears throat> so, go below that, you see this picture with the red background. Though These are um, sketches done by Bill Blue for costumes. You know, Bill would think of a costume. El, he would talk to Elvis. Bill would come up with these costumes. He would write a note on the co on the paper, on the drawing. He'd send it to Elvis for approval, and Elvis would either say yes or no. And many times Elvis would write, if it was okay, Elvis would say okay, and he would sign it, Elvis. So that's what this was from. This is a design costume design from '68 Comeback Special. Um, beneath that, again, yeah, that's a cropped. For photo advertisement. That you've for, seen a million times? That we've seen a million times. Yeah. Now you come over, go up and, and to the right here. So this is the original drawing for the black leather okay. by Bill Ballou. And Bill put attached, he attached samples of the leather and the lining. So you got the leather and then the black lining. Black jean jacket and pants as per samples. Um, so then, all right, we'll just pick it back up. But yeah, man, that is the original design, Glenn, for the uh, leather. Yep, man, there, there's, your sam there's your sample leather up there. So I bet it was tough to get this piece. Not really, Not man. really, okay. Yeah, you see, he's got written black leather beside uh -huh. the leather, and then he's got the lining, you know. The actual end result didn't quite turn out like the, the drawing, but there's the leather. Mm. Crazy. It's crazy. And it's as close as you're going to get because there's only one leather. Yeah, there's only one. Whoa. So, yeah, this is a, a stage used guitar by Elvis. And it has the karate. Um, uh, David Stanley put all these karate stickers on here, according yeah. to David. There's the tiger, Mr. Tiger. Yeah. The tiger Man. Yep. Which I'm gonna give a plug. Gotta visit the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum. And don't forget those the tiger 
in the dragon there. Uh -huh. Don't forget those logos when we get around the other side. Because there's something that's tied to that. Something tied to that. I can't yeah. wait. Oh, man. What could it be? Stay tuned. Let's see. Don't leave now. Wait, wait. Now. Look at this picture right there. Yeah, that's a picture of him using the same or similar guitar, obviously. Yeah, let's see that. Um, now, down below that, there's a hat a fan threw on stage. Elvis put it on. That came from J.D. Summers' uh, daughter after he passed away. Okay. It's just, it, and is that that's Elvis wearing the hat? Yeah, it's Elvis you? wearing the hat. Yeah. And next to that, you got the shirt Elvis wore on a Christmas album. Look how young he is there. Oh, that's the blue shirt. Look here, guys. You've seen that picture a million times, probably. Here's the shirt today. Crazy. Now, right above that picture of the guitar, you got a red scarf. Oh, is that the one in that famous picture? At not the... sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's from the 68 special, but here's what I do know. Okay. I have never seen Elvis wear a whole lot of red scarves. Uh -uh. And he gave that scarf to his maid in 1969, took it out of his closet and gave it to her. Now, why is he, keep... why is he keeping a scarf, red scarf in his closet? Right. If it wasn't important. Right. So, anyway, there it is. <laughs> Handwritten letters by Elvis. Um, not too many of them up there, but there, that's one written by Elvis to, to Gary Pepper. Um, Elvis actually addressed the envelope. It's got the stamp uh, postmark date on it. And so these pictures are, were taken within hours of that postmark, which is why I put them with it that piece man, well, and the coloring goes great I love together. it man it's for the international letterhead yep 36 is that right 36 close enough huh 36 yeah, yeah. you didn't know that until today I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm giving didn't. you some history <laughs> what do we got from here okay going over to the right you got international costume company that's just a receipt of Elvis um, paying Bill Blue for a bunch of uh, costumes and you know, work, clothing, so forth. And I just put pictures. Not for those particular pieces. Those are just pictures I put in there. Just to accent it. Um, August 18th, 1969. Yeah. was a good year. This is just an autograph. He wrote on an envelope to Nancy. Enjoyed the show. Elvis Presley. And then I put a picture with it. 37. Red, there you go. Um, this, this one is special, is special to me, these next two. There's the original drawing by Bill Ballou for the Aloha from Hawaii costume with a fabric sample. Obviously, I'm never going to have the jumpsuit. <laughs> so, the original design is the next best thing. You might have it one day. Yeah, who knows. Check that out. That is a, an example for Elvis to check out. So now did he print? He, did he say anything on that? No, he no, he didn't. He didn't ask for any opinion or uh, or uh, and Elvis didn't. Really Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble. Subscribe. It's free. You stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday, and special ones here and there. Please like this video if you like it. Share it. And until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.